What's up guys, I'm Tim Henson and welcome to my home studio. Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite guitars. First up, we're gonna start with the best seller. This is the TOD-10M. This stands for Tree of Death Nylon. Uh, this is my nylon signature. This was the very first one ever made. This one I've played on tour. I've played so many notes on this. So you can see it's got tons of wear and I don't remember the last time I changed the strings. On the neck, you can see that we've got the Tree of Death inlay, beautiful stuff. Um, and it's like a C-shaped neck. It's slightly like wider than an electric guitar, but slightly thinner than a classic nylon guitar. So you've got this like nice like middle ground. So like if you're an electric player coming to a nylon for the first time, it's not going to be like the craziest jump. On the side here, we've got a sound hole where the sound can hit you in the face because um, obviously there's no sound hole here. Uh, this is not a fully electric guitar. This is a semi-acoustic guitar. Um, and it's not fully acoustic either, so I would not recommend like just playing this, you know, you know, not plugged in. You're supposed to plug this thing in, but this is just a nice little bonus so that like when you're playing, you get a little bit of the acoustics. And then on the side here, we've got um, the Fishman Sonicore pickup, and that's like in the saddle, the bridge, but the controls are here, and you can see that we've got a tuner. We've got volume, treble, and bass, as well as a phase knob. Um, so yeah, overall, it's a wonderful guitar. This one's special because on the inside of these, the other ones will have my signature and the correct model name. This one says THN10. That's the TOD10N. Next, I want to introduce you to the twins. Unfortunately, I do not have a TOD10 with me as they're all uh, getting ready to be shipped to Europe for our Europe tour, but these are the LA Custom Shop TODs. They don't have model numbers yet, but eventually we're going to put some of these guitars into production. Maybe not this exact paint color or specs, but they will be prestige models. We've got an insane paint job. They call this oil spill. Um, and I kind of just wanted like a really, really luxe version of the TOD-10. And as you can see, we've got a Wenge neck fully wanging neck. So we've got the wanging neck, the ebony fretboard. This is full mother of pearl inlay, as opposed to the other model just has the mother of pearl on the roses and stuff. Um, we've got, this is the seven string version of my signature Fishman pickups. In the six string guitar, we've got the six string version. We've got voice one, voice two, voice three, voice four, voice five, and then pull the thing up, voice six, voice seven, was eight. Yeah, the thing is just gorgeous. Every time I get on stage and play these things, they're, they're absolutely insane. Then we've got the Koa AZ right here. This thing is probably the most expensive production guitar that I have. Um, gifted, of course. We've got custom gold hardware on this. This, this one does not come with gold hardware and I told them how beautiful would it look with the koa and gold? So, also a workhorse, pretty dirty. And then the craziest roasted maple I've ever seen. I can't tell if it's like bird's eye maple or if it's just got like a really, like, for it's spalted or what, but it's, it's a very wild looking fretboard. But a really, really nice guitar, koa AZ. Lastly, I want to start at the very beginning, at the very end. We have the THBB10. This was my first signature guitar ever, and this was the first one ever produced. Um, it doesn't even have THBB10 on the model number back there. It just says THM. But uh, yeah, we've got roasted maple fretboard, roasted maple neck. We've got the abalone inlays. These are the Tim Henson Notorious to Marzio pickups. As you can see, I've played this guitar a lot, so much so that the gold has scraped off. Um, I think I had to get a new bridge because even the bridge got scraped and I filled in some sharpie right here For when this one got chipped. It's hella dirty and that's you know I've got a million guitars and this one has character because it's been played as opposed to most of the other guitars, but yeah uh, You know classic AZ from Ibanez and uh, just overall a wonderful workhorse <laughs> 